the war that nobody's talking about. Remembering the heart of Memorial Day and what it means. Hi, my name is Chris Shelton and enjoy this little piece that I put together this last week in celebration of Memorial Day. God bless the men and women who are still fighting the war in the Middle East and those who fight a war inside their minds every day. This is a subject that can't be ignored. Our inner wars must be addressed and remedied. My dad served in Vietnam, so Memorial Day holds special meaning to our family. Whenever I visit my father at the VA hospital, no matter the time of year, I have two choices. I can look at my dad and his war-related health challenges through the lens of anger, frustration, and outrage. Or I could choose to look at my dad through the lens of my heart and really, really see who he is. When it comes from our heart, we immediately access higher vibrations, emotions like gratitude, appreciation, positive pride, and above all else, love. According to traditional Chinese medicine, the heart is considered the emperor or empress of the body. Think of the heart as the head of the household, the big cheese, the top dog, the big kahuna. Like many men of his generation, my dad was the king of the household when he was home. Other times, he was missing in action, MIA. A byproduct of war. My heart goes out to those who have loved ones that are still MIA. Then and now, my dad holds lots and lots of love. No war has extinguished the love inside my father. The men and women inside the VA hospital are bright lights radiant within despite physical and emotional wounding. These brave soldiers know what war they fought. Their brave struggle, then and now, inspires a question the rest of us would benefit from answering. As we march through our daily lives, how often do we get triggered and wage war using negative thoughts, words, or deeds? So many times when we are stressed and rushed, i.e. didn't meditate, didn't get centered, didn't drink enough coffee, we declare war on ourselves and those we love. This Memorial Day weekend, let's contemplate more than beer, burgers, and barbecues. One of the many reasons why I love Qigong and almost all forms of meditation and mindfulness is the daily breakdowns and breakthroughs that happen when we look inside our hearts. You can't heal what you don't feel. It is a truism particularly relevant when we look at things, people, places, or events we want to be different. The next time you want to righteously rage against rotten reality, take a moment to take a meeting with your inner ruler. Don't check in with the warrior king, that's your mind. When you're upset, check in with your true ruler, your wise, loving heart. Always remember that a giant step forward on the spiritual path is when we resist declaring war and spread peace and love instead. Imagine. This letter goes out to the men and women who are fighting the war that no one is talking about whether the war is overseas or being waged inside their minds. I pray for our soldiers, safe return home to peace. From my heart to yours, enjoy Memorial Weekend filled with peace, family, and lots and lots of love.